Hey everybody. Okay, so it's time for another episode of GR Corolla stuff. All right, so we got my 2023 GR Corolla here, and I'm gonna give you a lot of facts. Some you can use, some you can't, some you knew, some you don't. Oh well, keep watching. You might learn something. So here's something that probably quite a few people knew, or maybe you didn't know. The GR Corolla comes with an aluminum hood. Yep, aluminum. That didn't work out. How about this one? The GR Corolla comes with plastic deck lid. The hatchback is plastic. On the GR Corolla, the driver's seat is manual. However, you can go up and you can go down. On the hatchback XSE, the seat is power. Can't get that on the GR Corolla. M. This is a carbon fiber look. You can do it in any color. I just like this because it hides fingerprints. It's nice and grippy and it just happens to be where everybody touches the door. GR Corolla does not have any parking sensors. Front or rear. There are no parking sensors. However, it does have blind spot monitoring. So the GR Corolla has five by 4.5 or five by 114.3 wheels, as opposed to the regular Corolla, which has five by 100 lug pattern. Everybody knows the GR Corolla has bigger brakes, but did you know that there are two piece rotors? So this is the 1.6 liter turbocharged three cylinder. And if you look closely, you'll see the Shimoyama badge. Let me see if I can get a close-up for you. That is because this is a special engine. And it's on every GR Corolla. And Yaris, too. That's GR Yaris, though. Now, one other thing is the brake dust. I washed these wheels yesterday and I just went to Costco for gas and they've already got brake dust. Um, not much you can do about that because the braking is excellent and I wouldn't want to change my pads just for some dust. So here is another fact that you don't know and no one will tell you. The GR Corolla not only has the valve right there, the electronic valve, which you probably knew about, but you didn't know that it's hollow. The muffler is completely hollow. There's no baffling. There's nothing in there. There's no fiberglass packing. It is a hollow muffler. The GR Corolla does not come with a spoiler. So if you want a spoiler, you have to add it. By the way, factory Toyota spoiler added on. Everyone probably knows this. When you're going to open the GR Corolla, you just reach under here. There's a little rubber switch, pops the latch. What most people do not know is that if you look at the latch, there's this little button right there. And that is your lock button. So when you close your hatch, you hit that button, you can lock all your doors. GR Corolla comes with a little medical bag that's included. Now, I'm sure most of you know that the GR Corolla comes with no spare tire. However, did you know that it comes with no lug nut wrench and no jack? It gives you a little compressor and some fix-a-flat. Your battery's in the back. There's your license plate for the front. But it does not include the jack and the lug nut wrench which even though you don't have a spare tire, you probably are gonna need one. And then what they do is underneath your compressor, 
down here is your tow hook. So here you go. You probably know this one. Manual handbrake and no center console on the GR Corolla. Here's another one for you. These tires, there's an outside and an inside. Don't mix them up. Another thing nobody tells you, the GR Corolla has this great feature. When you put it into gear and you don't give it any gas whatsoever, when you start to let the clutch out, amazing things happen. And what's that? Well, it doesn't stall because watch the tachometer. See my foot? Watch the tachometer. As I let off the clutch, it revs up on its own. So you can literally move this GR Corolla without giving it any gas at all. It's great for beginner drivers because you don't stall unless you're Giovanni. <laughs> Little dig there. Anyway, he's got a GR Corolla too. But um, you let the clutch out and it starts rolling. You do it slow enough, you don't even need to give it gas. And it does this both in forward and reverse. Amazing. So you put it into first gear and you let that clutch out. There it goes, revving up on its own, and we're moving. Nobody's giving a gas. Fun fact, the uh, standard Toyota doesn't have that, the standard Toyota Toyota Hatchback Corolla, but um, it's a great feature that they built in. Here's a surprising fact for you. So this is the 1.6 three-cylinder, no VVTI. Isn't that amazing? Here's another fact you may not have known about the GR Corolla, but it comes with those sport pedals, aluminum and rubber. This is not the standard shifter. The standard shifter knob does not have leather. It's smooth, smaller in diameter, and it says GR. This is an option. Also included with the styling package if you buy the styling package. The GR Corolla comes with that. And what is that? That's a USB-C C charge port. Not your standard USB, but the USB-C. So you'll probably need an adapter. Here we go, how about this? You have a regular charge port in the back and that would be this one. Cigarette lighter, power port. And what's that? Another USB-C? Yes, but guess what? USB-C, C. So that's gonna be the new standard, and the GR has that. But no regular USB-C port. 